As a southern port city, Houston, Texas is on the front line for combating mosquitoes in the USA. Since mosquitoes develop resistance to pesticides, we are always looking for methods and techniques to battle them and also protect our residents from mosquito-borne diseases. Killing mosquitoes with a handheld racket works, but there are a lot of mosquitoes to kill, so we need something more um, Texas-sized. And then we need to mount it on a robot and work with algorithms people to get good and useful trajectories. Zapping Zika with a mosquito managing drone. Computing optimal flight patterns with minimum turn cost. Finding an optimal round trip that visits all of a given set of locations is the famous traveling salesman problem. Even though it is known to be computationally hard, there are well understood methods from discrete optimization for computing provably optimal tours for instances of considerable size. Of course, our drone will not zap the mosquitoes individually, but rather sweep the region with its high voltage grid. This makes the challenge similar to a lawnmower problem, which has also been studied. In a year 2000 paper, Arkin, Mitchell and Fekete proved hardness and gave a number of approximation algorithms for this lawnmower problem. However, the continuous nature of geometric motion causes tremendous difficulties, so we cannot simply apply discrete optimization. In fact, computing provably optimal lawnmower tours for interesting instances is still largely unsolved, making the problem different in practice from the traveling salesman problem. We can sidestep this issue by considering travel on an appropriate set of pixels that cover the region to be swept. But even then we are faced with geometric difficulties. As can be seen from this plot, the cost of flying along a straight line is quite uniform, but increases considerably when making turns. As a consequence, we have to consider tours that cover the region with minimum turn cost. This problem was studied in a 2005 paper by Arkin et al., who showed that the problem is computationally hard, even for grid graphs. They also gave a number of approximation algorithms, which were based on computing a strip cover and merging it into a low-cost set of cycles that cover the region. How difficult is it to compute a minimum turn cycle cover? That is far from obvious. In fact, it is one of the questions from the Open Problems Project, a prominent list of outstanding challenges. We can answer this question. Computing a minimum turn cycle cover is NP hard. The proof is based on a reduction from 1 in 3 sat. Here is an overview of the construction. Precise details are quite intricate and can be found in a separate paper. There is another important modeling aspect. Mosquitoes are not evenly distributed. As a consequence, we get a density distribution rather than a uniformly covered region. Moreover, we have to deal with limited battery power. So, it is better to select a suitable sub-area that gets cleared, while other, less densely populated areas get ignored. In an optimization context, this is called a penalty tour, as we pay a price for leaving out some parts. Moreover, a budget tour has to make the most of a given battery charge. We can give a constant factor approximation for penalty tours based on linear programming. For each pixel, we choose a variable for each of the two possible directions of covering it, with an additional artificial variable for paying the penalty for not covering it. Solving the linear program may yield a solution with fractional variable values. We get an integer solution by rounding up the dominant values. These are merged into a low-cost cycle cover of a good subset by making use of a minimum cost matching. 
the result can be turned into a low-cost subtour. One of the powerful methods from discrete optimization is the use of integer programs, or IPs, in which a discrete set of zero one variables is used in combination with linear constraints and a linear objective function to describe the feasible set of solutions and their associated cost. Solving an IP is still NP-hard, but can often be done with the help of powerful solvers, such as Cplex or Gurobi. We can describe an optimal budget tour as such an integer program. We use a variable for each of the ways of covering a pixel, and additional constraints for ensuring that the choices for adjacent pixels are in agreement. Solving the resulting IP yields an optimal budget cycle cover. Iteratively adding appropriate sub constraints eventually yields a single cycle, which is an optimal budget tour. Making use of CPLEX and additional separation constraints, we were able to solve instances with up to 500 pixels. Here is an example, based on a real-world instance. Here is our drone flying one of these tours obtained by our approach. This is what the drone sees, showing how combining methods from optimization and geometry with practical expertise and hardware can help to solve important problems, such as fighting dangerous diseases. Hasta la vista, mozis.